Hey pre-meds and welcome back to the Math and the MCAT series. This video is the first of a couple on uh, logarithms. This one we're going to do pH and logarithms, which is a very common question that you'll see in the ChemPhys section of the MCAT. So go ahead, try out this first question here, pause the video, and then come back and we'll work through it together. Okay, so this question is a snippet from a passage. We've got a researcher who's looking at an unknown compound. And the important part for our question on pH is going to be the last sentence where it says the hydrogen ion concentration, so we'll write H plus here, is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 5 molarity, moles per liter, right? And by the way, if you ever have like a 1 times 10 to the negative 5, you can consider this to just also be 10 to the negative 5. You don't need the 1 in front. It says the same thing. Uh, so either way, it's good to write that out. Now, whenever you see the hydrogen ion concentration given in a passage or in a question stem or anything like that, it is a high likelihood that you're going to be asked about the pH. So a good test taking tip is to write that down or highlight it the minute you see it. Um, and we'll talk about how to easily convert this in your head to a pH value. So how do we do that? Well, our equation for pH is pH equals the negative log of the H plus concentration. That's why we needed it. And by the way, the whole reason we have pH in the first place is researchers didn't want to constantly be writing decimals like 0. 0.00001 or exponents like this, right? It's very annoying to do when you're writing research papers or notes. So one scientist had the smart idea and said, you know what, let's just do a logarithm function. Logarithms essentially cancel out exponents. They're kind of the opposite of exponents. And we'll see in this math, that's what I want you to think about is that we're kind of canceling the exponent part of this number to get a more linear value, just a basic integer here, which is easier for us to work with um, as scientists. So that's why we have this equation in the first place. By the way, lowercase p usually means log of. So this log of H plus, concentra uh, H plus concentration, POH, right? POH is quite simply the negative log of the OH concentration, right? PKA negative log of the Ka. Oh, it's not a concentration. Sorry, guys. Ka, right? So little p just means log of, just to reference there. All right. So for this particular question, we do need to know how to use the logarithm. So I'm going to show you my little mental trick for it, and that's going to be over here. x is log of 10 to the x. Now, we're using log base 10, and that's going to be true pretty much for anything in this world of acid base chemistry and MCAT logarithms. All right, we're not gonna have to worry about log base two or natural logs. There is a couple natural log equations, but very rarely will you need to calculate them because they often need a calculator. So consider our logs to be log base 10. So what does that mean? Remember what I said about undoing the exponent? I like to think about the logarithm as kind of canceling out the 10, the 10 to the, right? So that's what it is. We kind of cancel out the 10s and we bring that exponential value down to the integer side. So whatever's on the exponent will be our logarithmic value. So for example, if I wanted to take the log of 10 to the 7, all right, log 10 to the 7, that would just equal, we just grab the exponent, the 10s cancel, undo each other, and we end up with just a base value of 7. So now let's apply this to our pH calculation. Notice that we have a negative sign here, right? And the reason why they put that in, the researchers did, is because most of our values of our hydrogen ion concentration is negative. They are very small. So we, again, don't want to work with negative values. That's annoying. So they just put the negative sign into the equation. So let's do this math. So pH equals negative log of 10 to the negative 5. And again, remember what I said, the 10s kind of cancel. So we bring that negative 5 down and forward but we also have to bring the negative sign down and forward as well. So negative, negative five just equals five, and that's gonna be our pH. So in the future, you can just pop up and look at the exponent value, and that is our pH, as long as it's the H plus concentration, which they can also write as H3O plus, means the same thing, all right? But making sure that you have the right concentration is the first step, and then calculating from there. So I hope that was helpful. Please stay tuned for more videos on more complicated logarithms that you're going to see on test day and happy studying.